The overall goal of this procedure is to generate peptide-based assemblies in the form of biomolecular necklaces. This is accomplished by first preparing stock solutions by dissolving the diphenylalanine and its bock protected analog separately in the appropriate amount of HFP to a final concentration of 100 mg per milliliter. The second step is to blend the peptide stock solutions in a 5 to 3 ratio by mixing 10 microliters of the diphenylalanine peptide solution with 6 microliters of the bock protected diphenylalanine peptide solution. Next, the blended peptide stock solution is added to freshly prepared 50% ethanol to give a final concentration of 5 mg per milliliter of diphenylalanine and 3 mg per milliliter for Bach protected diphenylalanine respectively. Ultimately, scanning electron microscopy is used to show the biomolecular necklaces co-assembled by the two peptides. The main advantage of using processes of self-assembly, like the one demonstrated here, is that by spontaneous progression it is possible to generate complex structure in vitro. Here we present the self-assembly of peptide, specifically the co-assembly of dipeptides. Demonstrating this procedure will be Sivan Yuran, a graduate student from my laboratory. To begin the procedure for the self-assembly of diphenylalanine into tubular structures, prepare 100 mg per milliliter peptide stock solution by dissolving diphenylalanine peptide in HFP. To ensure the homogeneity of the solution, mix it with a vortex mixer for a few seconds and set it aside on the bench for a few minutes until the peptide is completely dissolved and the solution is clear. Dilute the peptide stock